What's up my ponyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs, excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're going to be putting together a home mesh Wi-Fi system. It seems like everyone and their dog out there is trying to put together their own Wi-Fi mesh system because, well, the new Wi-Fi 6.0 protocol came out. It seems like every company out there is trying to put together their own Wi-Fi mesh system. I figured I would put a tutorial together on how to set it up. Now, I'm gonna be using uh, a product that comes from Mesh Force. I've actually never worked with uh, any products from this company. Just know that this is not a sponsored advertisement. I purchased this with my own money during Prime Day, so you know that this video is you know, genuine and sincere. However, down below in the description, if you did wanna help out the channel, you can use my affiliate links, which do help out the channel to keep this content going. I wanted to put together this mesh Wi-Fi system so I can get total coverage around the house and then I might be able to seamlessly move from room to room, level to level without having any interruption in my Wi-Fi. Some of the perks of this device, obviously Mesh Force has their own dedicated app where you can monitor your Wi-Fi. This uses AC2100 tri-band connectivity covering up to 6,000 square feet. It says that the guide here, you can set up in minutes. You can even manage your kids' screen time. You can turn some of them on and off depending on how long your kids are doing stuff. I think that's good. This is gonna be great. This is a no-brainer. I got a good deal on this. You can check the link down in the description for the product and pricing. Just know that that link does help out the channel. All right, opening it up here. All right, here we are. Register your product, download the app. Here are the instructions, pretty straightforward. Here are, here's the hardware. Here's your AC adapter. AC adapters for all the different devices. And then here is your ethernet cord. Okay, now that we've unboxed all of this, uh, here's what it looks like. Here are the devices. Uh, obviously there's three of them, like I said. It's got that trifecta, <laughs> tri-band. Uh, pretty exciting. It, 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 there's no real difference between the three. They're all the same. So you just have to decide which one you're gonna pair with you know, where your internet comes from. The top view here, it's got this shiny, I don't know, top, reflective top with very much a matte finish all around. On the back side here, you've got some ventilation, some pads where it sits, and then you've got all of your little adapters here. So this is where you reset it. You've got your AC adapter power, and then you've got your you know main LAN plug-in if you were gonna make this the hub, and then it's got all of these, these two extra LAN adapters. Now, if you make this the affiliate to the main, then you can use all three. But obviously, if you make this as the main, this is gonna be where you're plugging it in from the internet. All three of them look exactly the same. All that's left is to go plug it into the LAN, set it up, and go from there. All right, so in order to set this up here, first you're gonna find obviously where the port is that the internet's coming from, your ISP. This is where my internet comes from. You're gonna take the, you know, the ethernet cord, you're gonna plug it simply into it, and then you're gonna, you're gonna plug it into the mesh force pod. On the back here, as you can see, there are three different ports. You're gonna to wanna to put it into the one that's got the circle with a grid in it, that means that that's coming from the internet. All right, once you've done that, then you're gonna be plugging it into a power source. So make sure you get the plug and have a plug near to plug it into the power source. Okay, so now you're gonna hit start, agree to the terms and conditions, you're gonna allow it to connect, and now we're gonna set up the Wi-Fi. Okay, now you gotta put the password that appears on the back of the device. Once you've joined and connected, you go back to the app. Now it's time to set up the mesh. The mesh point is identifying your connection type. The connection is a dynamic IP. 
It's a static. Or it's dynamic. What? Okay, now we're connecting to it. Great, now it's connected. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna name it. Password. Okay, now that I've set up the name and the password, let's go ahead and continue. All right, now that I've connected to the Wi-Fi, it's now receiving the internet. Let's go ahead and add a mesh point. So the mesh point it creates is basically a power adapter. I've made a video on this in the past. It basically uses the power line that you connect the mesh point to to create a power line adapter to all of the different other devices. So in essence, it's not sharing the signal via Wi-Fi, but rather via your power line within your walls. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick speed test before I do the mesh points and show you how fast the internet is. It should be 100 download and I think 50 upload. That's actually really good, 99 download. That's right where it should be. Okay, now that we've got that, set up um, and I hope it updates. Let's go ahead and connect the rest of my mesh. All right, now that we're upstairs, let's go ahead and uh, let's um, plug in the second point. My daughter's here helping me. Yeah, Eleanor, cheese, huh? Okay, it looks like it's connected. It's uh, blinking. It's also showing green now. And it looks like we are good. It says that it's offline. I need to refresh it maybe. Okay, so the second one did show up. It says the connection's pretty good. It's online. Hi, Eleanor. My love. Yeah? Oh, so much love for me. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> um, All right, we called it midroom. It says poor connection. It said it had good connection. We'll let it be. It seems like it connects here and there. There might be stuff in the way. Oops. Uh, let's go ahead and go upstairs and do the other one. Come on now. Okay, we've got the last mesh to do. Let's go ahead and plug it in. This is the other point that I want to put it in the master bedroom so that we have clean internet up here. Notice there are, there are two stories here that we've gone from. Okay, it uh, takes a second to boot up. It's now showing a green light. I'm gonna go ahead and set it where I wanna set it. This is the device that it connects to. It takes a bit. We'll place this in the master bedroom. Looks like the dot's blinking now. Let's see what happens next. Takes a minute for the mesh to connect, but hopefully it, uh, it's able to do its thing. It's now blinking and now it's a solid green. And there it is. You can see now that the mesh is completely connected now. Excellent. You got the location more. It's got all of the different information and it's showing what devices are being connected to it. Terrific. And it's kind of cool. It shows you all throughout the house how many devices are connected to it. Let's go ahead now that we've got the mesh connection. I'm gonna go ahead and redo the test again. See what my speeds are looking like. We're still hitting 100. I mean, that's that's good enough for me. That's all I can say. All right, I'm really excited to be able to have a mesh Wi-Fi system. Uh, that's pretty much how you set it up from start to finish. We did the unboxing, we set up the app, we then placed it around the house as you saw, and then connected all throughout the house, and we were able to get a pretty good connection. I showed you guys my Wi-Fi test speeds. I don't get a gigabit, and so, as I mentioned, um, it's gonna be throttled, or at least it's gonna be less than what it says the maximum is. I could purchase a thousand megabits a second, you know, a gigabit, but it's expensive. Nonetheless, if you guys thought that this was helpful, hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more of my tech and lifestyle video reviews. Nonetheless, my name is Andy with Andy Vlogs. I'll see you on the next one.